Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with some screenshot reveals of the newly announced Arid Animal Pack that is dropping on the 20th of June. And the past few days, we have seen some new screenshots revealing a little bit more about the animals that you can expect with the Arid Animal Pack and also the brand new career scenario that we are looking at right now. You can already tell that the African Crested Porcupine is also included in this map. Now, for anyone out there that doesn't realize it yet, this is not a new building theme. This is an animal pack, so I'm assuming all we will see is like a few signs for all the new animals that will be added in the animal pack. Maybe there will be some tiny props added in the free update. I mean, that is nothing new. We sometimes do get a variety of like new plans or anything like that in the free update, but I'm not, not expecting too many crazy things. So this is, as far as I can tell, all built with the current pieces that we have, probably the Indian theme most likely. But yeah, nonetheless, it does look very nice for this new career scenario. And I'm just curious how many of you are watching right now that also do the new career scenarios. I'm not really a career scenario player, but I'm just curious in general how many of you are very excited to see a new career scenario being added into the game in the Arid Animal Pack. Do let me know in the comments down below. So like Frontier always likes to do with these new packs, they are going to do like this all over social media where every day they will show something new or like reveal a new animal from the new animal pack. So Steve is back and ready to go on another adventure. Steve is setting up a camp here in this short arid landscape in hopes of discovering some animals in the surrounding area. Join the lookout and see if you can spot anything that will help Steve's research. So look at that, it's the Somali wild ass. Their digestive systems are truly impressive. They can process the desert vegetation and extract all the necessary moisture from their food to survive. Let's take a little snack break before we continue on our lookout. I mean, you guys, this donkey is just absolutely awesome. I wasn't really sure about like having another of these type of animals in the game. However, I'm like, super excited about the Shavalski's horse. They look absolutely incredible and did definitely became one of my most favorite animals once I did see the pack. But before it, I was like, yeah, well, it's all right. And I think the Somali wild ass will be a similar type of animal. They look absolutely fantastic already in the screenshot. But I am sure once we will see these animals in action, see how beautiful they are made. They are definitely becoming one of my most favorite animals of the pack. I, I really think so. How about you guys? What do you guys think about this beautiful picture of the Somali wild ass? Do let me know in the comments down below. And then we move over to this one. Hello, Steve here. Thanks for helping me out on this lookout mission on the sandy desert. Oh, I already see something. Get those binoculars out. It's the Dama Gazelle. You can see one of them is grazing on the shrubs. This is where they obtain most of their water to survive. Look at this beauty. I'm not like super duper excited about another hoof animal. Like we have so many already in the game. Nonetheless, I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. The details of this Dama Gazelle look really great. And uh, there is a male laying down right over here, which also looks very beautiful. Yeah, I oh, obviously. Oh, there they will also come with like different uh, fur patterns, obviously. So that is really cool. I think this is a little one. Or is that? I'm not entirely. Yeah, I think this is a little one because it doesn't have like these these horns on their head. And the same goes for this one. They look absolutely amazing. Won't be my most favorite animal of the pack, but I think they are a really nice addition as well to the pack. And I do know that a lot of people in the comments out there are very excited about the Dama Gazelle being added in the Arid Animal Pack. So if you are one of them, do let me know in the comments down below as well, of course. So then we move over to Steam because on Steam we have a few new screenshots that I didn't show in the first video. This one is obviously the Dromedary Camel, a beautiful animal as well. I think 
the details on this camel is, are absolutely amazing so yeah i think they did a great job on this one and it looks just absolutely fantastic and obviously rudy rank camel is just super excited to see him finally being added into the game so yeah a uh, rudy i am super happy for you but i will be staying very far away from you because i know that you are going to spit my face so uh no <laughs> sorry rudy but this is the part where i take a lot more distance of you now <laughs> No, jokes aside, I think it's absolutely fantastic that we are finally seeing Rudy being added into the game. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as well. And then I think one of my most favorite animals of the pack, even before I get my hands on it, is obviously the African Crested Porcupine. I think they have so much cuteness in their face, even though... <laughs> They're probably the most uh, most uh, sharp and, and pointy animals of the of the pack, but nonetheless, I'm very excited about these guys, and and I really do hope that Frontier did a really good job at, at making this all look super and natural and stuff. But yeah, we have to wait and see how these guys will really move in action when roaming around in their habitats. But yeah, very excited about the African Crested Porcupine. If you agree with me, do let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I'm really curious to hear your thoughts about the African Crested Porcupine so far. And then right over here, we have another screenshot of the ad eggs. We already did see this one in the announcement trailer as well. But yeah, same story. It's a hoofed animal, not making me too excited, but they do look super beautiful nonetheless as well. So yeah. I know a lot of people are very excited to see the Adax being added in Planet Zoo as well. So if you're one of them, do let us know in the comments down below and show some love for the Adax in here. <laughs> Next up is another screenshot of the career scenario. Uh, this one, it does look very nice. It's, it's nicely put together by someone at Frontier. We can see some dromedary camels right over here on this side. Other than that, I really do think that this is the Indian theme. There was a little bit of excitement about this screenshot because right over here, if you look very closely, there is a playground. <laughs> so we were all like, what? We're getting playgrounds and they didn't even tell us. But very soon after on Twitter, one of the community managers was like, ah, no, no, don't get your hopes up too high. This is just a piece by piece work of some of the, the devs of, uh, of Frontier. So uh, yeah, in my opinion, that may be the smartest thing to do to add like a fake playground built piece by piece while you know that there are a lot of people being extremely excited about getting some playgrounds in so mm, better just leave that out if it's not something that be that is real added into the game so um, yeah i really would have left this out to avoid any uh, confusion anything like that so yeah don't get your hopes up too high this seems to be a piece by piece playground so nothing that we will be able to use for kids in the game i mean seriously if it would be something real then they would have announced it already in the free update and, and people would be extremely super excited about it because it's something that a lot of people have been asking for for such a long time so no guys no playgrounds unfortunately or no real working playgrounds unfortunately and then last but not least and i really wish we could see a little tiny bit more of one of the smallest animals being added in planet zoo the sand cat me as a big cat lover or small cat lover <laughs> i'm very excited to see more about the sand cat i think they're gonna be super duper cute super adorable and i really can't wait to build a tiny enclosure for these little ones in my zoo and just enjoy the cuteness all over and obviously do let me know in the comments down below how many of you 
Do you agree with me that they are super excited about this tiny sand cat being added in the arid animal pack? Do let me know in the comments down below. But quickly, before we end this video, I would like to remind you all that our channel is sponsored by Instant Gaming. And via their website, you can get all Planet Zoo packs, including the new arid animal pack, with a really great discount. You can already set yourself a reminder via their website to get notified as soon as a new arid animal pack will be available on launch day and obviously next to planet zoo you can get many other awesome games with a really great discount as well games like the sim city skylines farming simulator jurassic world evolution and so many other fantastic games and by buying via their website you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel i will make sure to put a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it and of course right after recording this video frontier did share another screenshot of the arid animal pack put down that snack for a second i think something else is walking by it's the dromedary camel amazing most of the camel's fat is stored in its hump which allows for better thermoregulation meaning they can easily release heat from their bodies in these extreme climates now obviously we did already see the camel nonetheless uh, i did want to share this screenshot with you guys as well because it's just a very beautiful animal and I'm very excited to see more of the camel in the pack as well. So yeah, in general, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of all the screenshots we have seen so far from the arid animal pack. Let me know what animal you are mostly excited for. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!